welcome to another episode of French Toast Moto Club. Today, we are going to talk about chargers. Now, the Onyx RCR comes with a 5 amp charger, which in the theme of a lot of things inside of the Onyx is about half of the amp capability that the battery can take for a charger. Now, this isn't done to be cheap. It's actually done to do quite the opposite. It's designed to take good care of the most expensive component of the bike, which is usually, and the Onyx is no different, the battery. Now, the battery can take up to 10 amps from a charger, which means twice as fast as the Onyx charger, but you shouldn't do that all the time. When it comes to how you wanna treat a battery, you wanna go as low as possible, generally speaking, in order to give it longevity. Uh, basically, discharging it really rapidly is relatively similar to charging it very rapidly. So, why did I get a fast charger? Because there are rare occasions where you do want to charge a little bit quicker. Maybe I'm in a hurry, maybe I came home really quick, was gonna get lunch and wanted to charge up and keep riding after. A variable output charger that is good quality, like this one, uh, is a really good option. So let's talk a little bit about the cycle satiator versus a charger like this. Um, when you're looking at uh, a charger that is variable output, you're gonna get a couple different things. So cycle satiator has a five amp maximum. It's also twice as expensive as this charger, actually more than twice as expensive as this charger. I spent $140 on it, but I am going to try and find a link for it for even less. So moral of the story is this charger is a really good value it's a little bit bulkier but it charges twice as fast and it has variable output by turning this knob i can adjust the amperage output and charge maybe a variety of different e-bikes maybe you upgrade your battery someday and you want to be able to dump 12 amps into the battery quick this is going to do that cycle satiator won't now the cycle satiator has a lot of programming and it can do a lot of cell balancing type things that take care of your battery. This has a, uh, I would call it a more dumbed down version of taking care of your battery. What it has that's unique is that it knows what the voltage is of your pack. So if I switch on the voltage meter, it's gonna read for a second and it's upside down. You can see it's reading that I have 84 volts. So it knows what voltage your pack is at and adjusts the amperage accordingly. So for example, if I was to turn on um, the actual charger unit itself, it won't even let me put in an amp because it's full. But if I had say 20% room to charge, it would cap me at three amps. So it only lets you charge in such a way that won't destroy your battery. So ultimately, it does a pretty good job of taking care of your battery. Now, when your battery's totally empty, you could technically put it at 12 amps. That wouldn't be the best thing though, because like I said, this battery is capped at uh, a 10 amp rating. So all in all, if you feel like you're responsible enough to handle a charger that could potentially destroy your battery if you don't know what you're doing, but also enjoy the benefits of a charger with a lot of varied capabilities, this one from eBay is highly recommended by me I've been using it as my primary charger. I've been trickle charging when I'm not in a hurry and I've only fast charged once. So I'll put a link in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions and I'm happy to answer those for you. Have a good one.